Well that's us found home for tonight Up on the summit of Bells Hill And the views up here are absolutely incredible How are we all doing folks? Back out for another wild camp This time I'm at the Pentland Hills and I have a bit of company tonight I've got Steve's wild camping and Walk With Wallace is hoping to come up later on And we're heading up a hill called Bells Hill Now at the moment the weather's quite good uh, A bit of rain forecast though but we'll see if it comes But um, yeah thankfully we're on the hill now because the path back there was quite busy The summit's just over the top of this wee hill in front of us So not far to go So I'll see you all when we get up there So that's us all set up now, Steve's just blown up his airbed, you've probably heard him do it there. So I'm trying this tonight, it's a Expedition food, chicken tikka and rice. It's a lot lighter than the Wayfarer meals and it's just something different, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to be cooking with the Soto Windmaster and I'm using a Euro Hike pot. I like the Euro Hike pot, it's quite good. So far so good like So I've no idea what time it is, I've not checked since I left the car um, 5 o'clock maybe <laughs> I don't know But um, Yeah, it's a great hill, Bell's Hill, it really is It's Fantastic views up here And for an hour's walk from the car park Yeah You can't beat it So Robin's turned up now I'm on the smaller tripod this is his little set up here It's always good having the camera in your hand You can show a lot of the views So as mentioned I have one of these expedition meals Chicken tikka and rice, and I've got the sort of one master uh, for today, uh, for tonight, sorry. And that just connects into the jet boil canister. So, yeah, something different, something new, chicken tikka and rice, expedition foods, I would definitely have them again. Oh, really, really good. Um, wasn't sure, but after finishing it, yeah, definitely would have it again. So, don't even see behind me. 
Yeah, the views are just fantastic from this wee hill. You've got Castle Law there, and then to my right you've got Allymere Hill, and then to my left you've got the Skull Law and the West and East Cap as well. Yeah, just a beautiful hill this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you by my tent. I'm going to show you where me and Monty and Mike camped uh, during the storm in November last year. Well, I said I would show you where me, Monty and Mike camped that night during the storm back in November last year. This is it. This is where me, Mike and Monty battled it out uh, against 70 mile an hour winds roughly. And if you've not seen the video, yeah, highly suggest you watch it. It was some night and a very entertaining video. So I'll leave a link to uh, my take on the trip on your screen right now if you fancy it. Uh, feel free to check out the end of this video. Um, but yeah, that was a memorable night and I learned a lot from it. I really did. And it's an experience that I would def definitely relive again. It was good. It's starting to get a bit dark now. And I've got the mini tripod now, so a wee bit of talking to the camera. But um, yeah, the weather's changing quite quite significantly down there. So really thick black cloud, and hopefully it doesn't come over here. Or we're we're in for some heavy rain. But yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up because it is getting dark. So I'll see you all in the morning. Tent's absolutely soaking, leaving a puddle on it. So there's no views this morning, so um, I think we're all just going to pack away. There's nothing really to stay here for. No views. It was a decent night though. Uh, a bit of rain last night, which you would have heard, uh, about half past twelve to about half one for about an hour. But yeah, we're all up, you can hear them in the background, so um, I think we're all just going to start taking our tents down and maybe being off here in the next hour. Tents absolutely soaked as mentioned as well, so it's going to be a case of trying to dry it when I get home, which I never enjoy doing. Right guys, I don't know if I've actually spoke to Robin on camera for my channel, but that's Robin away. Um, so it's been it's been good catching up with him. It's been about a year and a half since our last camp together. So um, yeah, it's been good to catch up with him. And yeah, that's Robin leaving now. I've still got a bit of my tent to pack away. Steve's not even started packing his tent away. So Robin's just going to head down. He's at a different car park. So yeah, good seeing you again. Right, catch you later, right, mate. See you later. See you. Cheers.
and that's where I was pitched, just here. Leave no trace, as always. Alright folks, so that's another camping trip done and dusted. Steve is just over there, you might see him. Um, we're heading off the hill now, uh, leave no trace as always. But yeah, that was a really good camp. Unfortunately the views are non-existent now, which is one of the main reasons why we've decided to pack up early. But that's it, I'm going to wrap the video up here. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider hitting the like button. If you're new to the channel, feel free to check out some of my older videos. Subscribe for future stuff if you're interested. I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you on my next trip. Take care.